Good afternoon, Brandon. It's Kerry here from Pacific Tide Alexis Cans. So what I would like to do for you today is a personalised high definition virtual tour of our 2018 Workmate two-wheel drive Hilux. Done about 40,000 Ks. Just with that vehicle alone itself, um, just want to make sure I can tell you a little bit more of the insides and outsides of the vehicle itself, interior, exterior, and around the wheel arch. Before I do that, I want to let you know a little bit more about our dealership here. We're on 77 Mulgrove Road. That's actually here, our main yard. And we actually have a second yard that's actually about 235 Mulgrove Road, about two and a half kilometers on the left-hand side. Next to that yard is our franchise dealership, new cars and Lexus as well, service and parts department. So I'm just gonna go through and show you a little bit more about the dealership. Just let you know how long we've been here for as well too. So we've been here for more than 40 years and plus itself. Um, Cairns, I've been here for probably over 23 years in Cairns itself as well. And I've been working for the dealership for over two years as well. So what I would like to do, just let you know as well too, we just don't sell our Toyota main brand. We also sell Holdens, Kias, Nissans, Hondas, Mitsubishis, Mazdas and Holdens as well too. That's just your small range cars. Then you've got your large vehicles like your Land Cruiser Prados, dual cabs, Hiluxes, Navaras, Mitsubishi Tritons as well too. And your vans is like your iLoad and your Toyota Hiaces as well. As in your SUVs, you've got your Toyota RAV4, ASXs and Santa Fe's and Outlanders. Okay, so I don't want to sort of boring you with that sort of stuff. I just want to get straight into this video right now. Just make my way down to the vehicle. I'm just on the front line here in the city of Cairns. So the vehicle you're inquiring with us today, Brendan, is our 2018 Toyota Hilux two-wheel drive workmate. Silver in color, so it's metallic silver. So I just want to make sure I can point out if there's any perfections in the paint or any dents or scratches. I'll point them out to you before I does deliver it or you come and have a look at it. Or if there's any uh, chips or cracks in the windscreen as well too. So let's get straight to the front bar itself. So as you can see, they come factory with a gray bar on them. So they don't come color coded at all. It's got a nice black nudge bar on it, as you can see there, with a nice seven inch LED lights. So that nudge bar is actually a factory Toyota bar. Just make our way up onto the bonnet. As you can see, it's got a bonnet protector on there. So it's smoky bonnet protector. So it's factory. Onto the bonnet itself. I just noticed that there is a couple little marks here. I want to point them out to you. And there is another one just here. Just a little one. I can get that brush touch for you. And I noticed that there's one right here, a little pin. So I can get that sorted out for you too, Brent. So I'll make my way back. Just going to look down to the side of the passenger of the vehicle. Just make sure there is no ripples in the paint. Fantastic, that looks nice and straight. Besides the pole beside me, sorry about that. Just going in the front guard. Open up the passenger door. Looking at the trim itself. Down on the kick panel, you can see that they've got the nice tighter covers as well. Some do, some don't. Factory floor mats or highlights up onto the dash fitted out with the uh, canvas seat covers as you can see they're nice and gray so the seats actually have been looked after the cars like in matte condition so I noticed that there is a little scratch here on the door but I'll point that out to you and we can get that fixed on delivery if you decide to end up purchasing the vehicle okay so just looking underneath the tray itself just gonna have a look on the uh, side boards before I go down to the chassis that looks pretty good tidy as well through the chassis there nice and then it's got like I said to you before before I go any further I want to go back to the front around the wheel arch just to give me a look how tidy it's underneath there it's got a nice set of Dunlop tires on it with the CSA rims on it so they're actually silver and gray two-tone you really can't see the grey over the silver, but it's there. Same with the rear ones as well. 
no gutter rash on those rims and tyres on the left hand side. Okay, just make my way out to the rear of it now. I just noticed it on the back here. I'm going to point that out to you. There is a couple of little scratch marks here. But it's a second hand vehicle. So you're always going to get that little bit of marking here and there. You've got your Toyota factory tow bar on it. And also it has got the uh, factory fitted camera as well too. So it's got the nice tonneau cover that goes over the tray, so it's handy to have. So it's easy to be pulling off. Fantastic, so you can pull it off like that, drop that tray down, and have a look underneath it. You can see that they must have left the uh, original steely rims in there, so that's actually come with the vehicle itself. I'll just make around to the headboard. Up onto that sideboards as well. All right, down through the uh, chassis there. Again on the uh, driver's side, and then around that wheels. You can see there's no gutter rash on those wheels. Okay, up onto the cab itself now. Just make my way down to the front of the vehicle. That's the uh, front guard on the driver's side. Fantastic, that is nice and straight there, Brenton. Okay, just go around that wheel arch again on the driver's side. Fantastic. So no gutter rash on those rims. So you can see that those vehicles have been looked after really well. So, okay, so I'm just gonna make my way into the driver's side door, open that up, up onto the trim. You even got cup holders in the door. So it actually has got your electric window, so your driver's side is always your automatic one that goes down. Central locking, locking your windows and your power mirrors. Fantastic. Before I go into the vehicle itself, just want to let you know that it does have two remote keys and your master key. It does have a cup holder on the driver's side and it basically has one on the passenger side as well too. I can show you that. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop inside the uh, cab itself. Close the door. Start the vehicle back up. Put some air on, it is a little bit warm here at the moment. So as you can see on the clock, it's got 40,029 kilometers on it. Just gonna have a look on the dash, just go across the dash itself. Before I go any further, you can see that it's got hazard lights and it's got actually a clock in the center part where the air conditioning is. So that's actually handy to have. So, just before I go away from the steering wheel, I want to show you around the steering wheel itself. And on the steering wheel, you've got your controls, as your volume controls, your voice recognition, and your Bluetooth. And on the right side, underneath the steering wheel, you've got your factory cruise control there, as I'm pointing to it. Okay, over onto the audio sound system. So that's all Bluetooth as well, so you can connect it to all touch screen. Before I go away from that as well, I want to make sure I can show you the reverse camera. That's reverse camera with the tray down. So I'll pop that back out. Yeah, conditioning. And then you've got your 12 volt, so you can plug your accessories in. So like your phone charger, um, you might have an iPad, your traction control, and this little one here is actually USB and X plug. Fantastic. Okay, so you've got your gears little coin box down here and then in your center console side you can see that you can probably put more stuff here and then you've got two extra cup holders so this car is actually fitted out with six cup holders in here there's another one over on the passenger side so I pop that open there's one there as well and then one down on the door fantastic okay while I'm over on the passenger side you can see that there's only manuals there and then you've got your service book Okay, going through your service book, I really can't show you the previous owner on it, but I can see that the vehicle was actually purchased in the first month of 19. So that's something that I can look into for you. It's got the service and cap rating as well still. You still have on that for an extra two more services. And just going through the service itself. So you can see that 3,800, 
The next service is done at 11,157. Next one's done at 29,121. And the recent one after that we did is at 40,000 and 26 kilometers on it. Fantastic. All right, that's basically nearly everything inside the cab itself. I'm gonna go unknit the uh, engine bay right now and just giving you a look how clean and tidy it. Before I go, I actually didn't even see that, is you've got your glasses holder. So that's handy to have. On that side is your lights interior. Okay. So just lifting up that bonnet right now. As I can show you, that is an engine but how clean and tidy that is. That's actually been looked after really well. Kept in really good condition. Fantastic. Okay, Ren, that actually coming to the end of this video right now. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call or send me a text message. I'll send this by email for you. Hope you enjoy watching it and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you.